Tony hasn't really um, woven a web of like heroes and villains in this. He's, I think he's, he's, he's really interested in the way that lots, that people have their best impulses co-opted by a system in many different ways. And, and that's, that's, I like that kind of complexity. There's kind of a triptych in this film of Jeremy's character, who's one sort of a cog in the machinery. Rachel's character is another sort of cog in the machinery. You know, one is a one is a soldier, one is a scientist, and one is you know um, one is the chess master in a way, um, the the architect. And I think that, and I think that. The, the film is really about how all of these people have made, they, they, they've, they've all made a trade in some sense. They've, they've made a Faustian deal to get to do what they do well. They all believe, they all believe they're contributing um, to a greater good. There's all kinds of ways to interpret it. You could interpret it as authentic sort of commiseration. You could interpret it as manipulation. You could interpret it as a lot of things. And I think, um, I think the, the, the murkiness of w what's transpiring there, whether it's a person um, who's sincerely trying to help someone else or whether it's a person who's trying to make sure that this person does what he needs him to do is is I think that's that's what is cool about the way Tony writes is it's not he's not delivering you an answer he's kind of making you hopefully I think dwell on what and and it's more uncom it's more uncomfortable I think if an audience doesn't necessarily have those questions answered for them I think it's 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 a more uncomfortable and un, it's a more unsettling experience if if you're not really sure what somebody's intentions are